good evening students uh, let me give you an overview of the chapter we are not afraid to die if we can all be together story overview or overview of the story this is the picture of that wave walker it's actually a cartoon uh, image but i think you can uh, grasp the idea about what we are about to read here in this particular story this is the design of that particular wave walker as we'll go on with the chapter these things will be discussed at that time elaborately this is the family that we will talk about the story we are not afraid to die if we can all be together is a story of extreme courage and skill exhibited by gordon cook his family and crewmen in a war with water and waves for survival in july 1976 the narrator his wife mary son jonathan and daughter susan set sail from plymouth england to duplicate the round the world voyage made 200 years earlier by captain james cook they took the voyage in their professionally built ship the wave walker accompanied by two experienced sailors larry vigil an american and half sigler a swiss to tackle one of the world's roughest seas the southern indian ocean the first part of the journey that is about 105,000 kilometers up to cape town passed off very pleasantly on the second day out of cape town they began to encounter strong gales that means tempest or sea storm we can say gales did not worry the narrator but the size of the waves was alarming up to 15 meters as high as the main mast on 25th december the writer ship was in the southern indian ocean 3500 kilometers to the east of cape town the family celebrated their new year on board the ship at dawn on 2nd january the waves were gigantic unfriendly weather and gigantic waves compelled the sailors to slow their speed drop storm jib and take other precautions the danger was so obvious that the sailors completed life raft drill attached lifelines and life jackets suddenly at 6 pm a tremendous explosion shook the wave walker and the author was thrown overboard the ship was about to capsize when another gigantic wave hit it tossing it upright once again the author was thrown back onto the deck his head and ribs smashing against the walls in spite of his injuries the narrator took charge of the situation somehow he found the wheel lined up the stem for the next wave and hung on till mary appeared and took charge of the wheel larry and hub started pumping out water like madmen the whole starboard side bulged inwards the narrator managed to cover canvas across the gaps to prevent water from entering the ship then came more problems their hand pumps stopped working or rather we can say stopped functioning and electric pumps short circuited fortunately the narrator found a spare electric pump under the chart room that worked the entire night was spent in pumping steering repairing and sending radio signals the narrator checked charts and calculated that he uh, was very near to amsterdam that is ill amsterdam as we will read later in the text a french scientific base was the only hope was the only destination sue and john were injured but they said that they were not afraid to die if they could all be together sue's head was swollen and she had a deep injury 
the narrator became more determined seeing his children's courage finally they reached ile amsterdam a volcanic island where they were welcomed by 28 inhabitants thus the collective strength and never failing optimism of the sailors made it possible for them to come out of the jaws of death though jonathan and susan did not do anything to save wave walker but their courage forbearance faith and optimism gave extra strength and persistence to the narrator and his team the bravery of the strong willed children is also noteworthy in the story thank you students